what in your view are the factors that have led to the current critical crisis? We talk about everyone talks about the challenges and the crisis, but faced by publishing now. Well, I think it's really the outcome of two interlocking developments that have taken place over the last 30 to 40 years. One development or set of developments is a social economic transformation of trade publishing, uh, and this is rooted in a series of social economic processes like the conglomeratization of the publishing houses and the um, rise of the retail chains and so on, what I call the logic of the field of trade publishing. The second uh, interlocking development is the technological revolution associated with digitization and the rise of the internet. So do you, what do you think big publishers can do, the big conglomerates, the big pie, to continue to deliver growth? Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult for them to continue to deliver growth in the way that they have managed to do and sought to do since the 1980s. If you look at how this industry has changed over the last few decades, you can see that the capacity of the large publishing houses, publishing corporations, to produce year-on-year -year growth has been related crucially to their acquisitions of other publishing houses. They have grown through acquisition, through merger and acquisition. And by acquiring other publishing houses and merging them into their own to become bigger and bigger corporate conglomerate groups, they have achieved significant growth year on year and also have been able to improve their profitability by rationalizing their back office systems. So achieving this substantial year on year growth of 8 to 10 percent per year has to a very significant extent depended on this process of merger and acquisition that has taken place over the last 20 or 30 years. That's becoming less possible today simply because there are fewer other companies to acquire. The opportunities for acquisition are diminishing and have diminished. Ability to deliver growth in the past has always depended on being able to peg your retail prices at a certain level and maybe slightly increase them year on year at the rate of inflation. And that enabled you to uh, maintain the growth coupled with the mergers and acquisitions policy. But with the digital revolution and the growth of ebooks, the retail price is falling, and therefore your ability to generate the same levels of top line revenue is going to be under serious pressure. And so, my expectation would be that as ebook sales grow over time, the revenue, top line growth revenue of the large public corporations will either be static or declining. So what this means for the large publishing houses is that they probably, over time, should pay less attention to their ability to achieve top-line growth and more attention to their ability to deliver bottom-line profitability. Because even if your top-line growth is static or declining, you may be able to improve profitability by cutting costs out of the system and so on and so forth. So I think there needs to be a fundamental shift of attitude in the large corporate houses. Um, the digital revolution will force them to refocus their attention away from top line growth and more onto levels of profitability. And more and more of their effort will be devoted, I think, to trying to ensure that they remain profitable companies rather than simply trying to deliver top line growth year on year.